A book showdown. Now on Way 31 News at 5, an update on the access your kids have to books and public libraries. Now this comes as the Alabama Public Library Service created a new material selection policy that will allow parents to decide what their children can and can't check out. Way 31 reporter Paige Meyer joins us live now. Uh, Paige, you've been told this new policy is optional for public libraries. Nikkel, that's right. If public libraries like the Huntsville-Madison County Public Library here want to keep their state funding, they unfortunately do have to adapt to these new policy changes. Starting next year, parents will have to actually sign a waiver if they want to give their kids a library card. Now, leaders here at the Huntsville-Madison Public Library say this new policy is to protect kids from sexually explicit, obscene, or inappropriate material. The new library cards will utilize a three-tiered system to determine what content children will have access to. The level one cards will allow the child to have access to the juvenile print collection. A guarantor will be, have to be on this card, meaning the guardian will be able to see what books are checked out. There will also be no digital material access with this card. On the level two card, the child will have access to the young adult print collection. Level two will also have no digital material access. And level three cards will have open access, meaning children can check out books from the adult section, the young adult, and the juvenile book sections. They will also have access to the library's digital resources like their ebooks and their audiobooks. We still, you know, are trying to give as much access as that parent wants for their child. So if they still want to continue to have, have access to all, the entire collection, then that's up to them. If a waiver is not signed for a minor, their card will automatically default to level one. Now keep in mind that is just for the checkout process. I'm told each section will be clearly labeled and section off within these public libraries. And leaders here at the Huntsville-Madison County Public Library say that all children under the age of 10 must be accompanied by an adult. They tell me this new effort is meant to support parents, but not replace their presence in the actual libraries. Now, I reached out to the Alabama Public Library Service today, and they gave me the following statement that reads, we're working really hard for these libraries to make sure they meet these new admin requests so they receive their state aid, end quote. Now, again, if a public library does not abide by these policies, they will not receive their state funding. Now, coming up on Way 31 News at 6, you'll hear from a community member about what they think about these new policies. But for now, reporting live in Huntsville with coverage you can count on. Paige Meyer, Way 31 News.